Rock Pat here. All right, guys, we're hiding from the law, man. They said that they were coming to get us if we left our houses, so we're hiding behind our little fort here and making sure they can't see us. Oh, what? We're over here on this side. Maybe they got to, maybe they're coming from this way. They're out to get us, man. They're out to get us. They said they're gonna throw us in jail if we don't stay in our houses. They're gonna throw us in jail, man. Well, Rocker Pat can't do that, man. He ain't gonna listen to the man. The man ain't gonna tell him what to do. He's gonna go where he wants, when he wants, how he wants. Cause that's the Rocker Pat style. Cause we're breaking the law, breaking the law. Okay, guys, all right, man. We're up here in Leggett. Another day out the jungle. And, uh, <laughs> I just stacked, well, I did this Wednesday. Today is Friday. I stacked that whole pile of wood right there. I don't know how many trees I cut down this winter. But yeah, I got one more to go. And that's a, uh, that's a pecan tree. And I'm not going to stack it back here. I'm going to run it up to the front once I get my tractor here. Well, hey, man, today's a good day. Because they, we got out the jungle. And we're breaking the law. Because our county judge is letting a thousand inmates out of the county jail so she can make room for law-abiding citizens that uh, break her little you can't go out of your house order and just so you know we're talking about a 25 year old woman that 10 years ago resided in Columbia and uh, moved herself up here and now is running the fourth largest well I think it's the third largest county in the country I don't know how that happened but uh, yeah we call our commandant you know uh, yeah, uh-huh. So anyway, on the good note of today, besides the fact that I got a big wall of, of, of wood and I got it backed up with a backup plan and maybe I'll cut another tree down and put another wall right here and then they can only come and get me from this side. All right, guys. Yeah, we got some little poke holes through here too, you know. Anyway, let's see what we got today. Today's a good day. We finally got our shipping container up here. And, boy, I tell you, that was an ordeal. Uh, yeah, it was it was dicey there for a minute. And it's not exactly uh, square and how I want it, but I'll be able to move it. It's not a big deal. We'll get it. No big deal. But we got a shipping container. Now we can bring the tractor up here. And I can start digging out all this right here. All the way around. Dig all that leafy, mulchy kind of material out of here. Because, you know, here's where my truck got stuck. It's just sinking in. It, this stuff is just like soft as all get up. So I'm going to start digging that out. Uh, use the box blade and that big scoop I got. And whatever I got to do to get it, get, it, get, it, get it done. And then I'll get some red clay fill dirt to fill that hole back in. And then we'll uh, get some uh, uh, road base to come up here. And, uh, yeah, you know, get it where every time you turn your tires, you're not spinning in the mud. Uh, it looks dry, but it's not. Uh, down there in Houston where I'm at, I'm 100 miles away from here. Uh, we haven't been getting a lot of rain, and the ground's nice and hard and dry. But it seems like every third day up here... They're getting two to three inches of rain. And that's not helping matters and everything. So anyway, let's look at my latest purchase. This was $1,700 delivered. Uh, 1670 something, so we'll just call it $1,700. Don't tell them where this damn thing's been in its life. Probably started out in China. Maybe we need to fumigate it and everything. But I got it sitting on some 4x4 pressure-treated posts that I kind of liberated from a someplace and uh yeah so we got a container uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hook onto that tree right there with a piece of rope and a pulley and tie off of this corner i'm gonna scoot it over so it's square because i really don't like things that ain't square that's just me call call me what you will but uh it ain't square then i'm gonna take these two pieces of uh concrete forms that I liberated and the rest of that 4x4s 
and I'll probably take some of those out from underneath that once I get some uh, concrete blocks to set it on. It, this was just so I could get it on the ground with that and have it up high enough where I can get a jack underneath it. Uh, and then we're gonna make some wheels for the back of it and some tow jacks to be able to jack it up. So we got some more welding projects coming up. Show you how to do that. Plus I'm gonna have some special locking mechanisms that I'm gonna make for this thing. Uh, so people don't know how to get in it. I'll tell you guys, but I don't think you're gonna fly, drive, or ride all the way up here to Leggett to go get in my container. So, yeah. All right, guys, well, let's take a look inside of it. It's clean, it's got a good floor. Uh, you know, it's got a few dents and dings. I'm sure it's been around the world a couple hundred dozen times. Uh, I didn't know that these things came with these little hooks right here. That's gonna make it good because I'll be able to uh, hang some brackets off of that to make some shelves. I'm gonna put shelves all the way down and around. Uh, may as well take up that space and everything. Uh, back here at the back is where I'm gonna put the box blade and the scoop and I'm gonna make a bracket that I can hang the uh, the auger off of so I can get all those implements up here or yeah up here because I live down there uh, and uh, yeah get get it where I can get it up here where all I have to do is just show up and I can actually use it uh, instead of you know having to drive 45 miles an hour for 100 miles towing a trailer this is going to be a hit it and quit it get that damn thing up here and and, and get it done uh but yeah man cool other ha happy news is finally made 500 subscribers this morning thanks to everybody that's hit the sub button y'all rock we're gonna rock it some more i got some things coming up this summer no telling what we're gonna do definitely got some uh more music stuff coming uh you know it takes me a little while to learn that music stuff i ain't as good at it as i am the uh the mechanic and stuff so yeah uh little lights on the back of the truck worked out uh i say worked out you know people were still trying to fly past me and i'm blocking both lanes uh to get that container in there they tried the back end they couldn't make it up the back end so they had to drive in and then it was pull over there back up almost into the house then try to get it over there so he could turn around and once he got turned around he was able to back it in this good thing is they came with a uh a uh fifth wheel or not a fifth wheel but a uh, uh what the hell they call them uh beep, beep, yeah you know what i'm talking about uh gooseneck a gooseneck trailer so he gave him a lot more uh turnaround ability and everything but you can see we rutted it up and not too bad but not too great you know fortunately he had four-wheel drive and was able to get it in and out and everything so yeah all right dudes well i appreciate y'all watching and y'all keep rocking and rolling and rolling and rocking and it's about 10 30 on a friday and i need to get back to shop that last video y'all watched of uh me making that bracket right there you probably noticed that it, those two engines sitting on the floor but well, one of them needs to hop its ass back in that car all right, guys, y'all keep rocking and a rolling and a rolling and a rocking. Keep grinding it down. Talk to y'all next time.